After selling everything we owned in 2020, living through a pandemic, in April this year, we finally got the go-ahead to start our adventure. We explored and fell in love with our own country, made loads of memories and new friends, before breaking through the red tape and heading into Europe in June this year. We started in France, explored the French Riviera, hit Monaco, had a brief stop in Italy, and right now, we are experiencing the stunning Switzerland. The best thing is, our journey is only just beginning. We are Lingard Family Adventures. Today, we climbed to the top of Mount Snowdon. Wow. Most of the places we come to are not as glam and glitz as Saint Tropez, and we don't have a helicopter pad just sat next to the port. But I've already seen two Bugattis, 14 Ferraris, and numerous Lamborghinis. So, can you come to Saint Tropez with a family? We're yet to see. Yachts are certainly stunning, and I'd like one for Christmas. What I'll do is I'll get saving now. <laughs> crew or no crew? <laughs> um, I'll have crew. Tiddlers. And then there's others who ain't got a boat. Look at that one, eh? He's just picked somebody up from the party. Instead of looking for fish, I should have been over there celeb spotting. There she is. What do you reckon then? What do you reckon to Nikki Beach? Very posh, Mills, you are right. Very posh. It's, Did you like it, Millie? Playboy Beach, below the looks of it. Yeah. It's definitely the Playboy Beach. So that's why we took the kids some <laughs> spades, some fishing nets, and two bodyboards. Exactly. We mixed it up. So there's all them yachts, and then there's our kids. Yeah, there's us. Playing in the waves. Look, look like we've just come to Cleefolks for the day. We did. That's it. We look good though, didn't we, doing it? Yep, you can take the family out of Cleefolks, but you can't take family out the <laughs> Cleefolks out the family. Exactly.
Melbourne to Monaco. What a place. What a view. There's some massive, massive, massive great big yachts here. They're 100, 250 million billionaires, millionaires, Lamborghinis, Ferraris. We thought we'd seen excess in Cannes and Central Pay, but yeah. Awesome. Something else, this, isn't it? Absolutely. What a view. It's beautiful. Again, it's just panoramic, isn't it? It's yeah. like you literally everywhere you look, it's just stunning. Really stunning. It is. Should we go find that? Um... Let's go find Casino Square. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's some seriously nice cars coming past. Seriously nice cars. Come on, monkey. Bree's got the world's biggest Lee, so is Henry. But you know what you need to use these for, guys, don't you? Fans, watch mummy. Like this look, Hen. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, Bree, do you want to do it? Got to use it as a fan. Oh, that's it, look. So we just had a look and um, there's a boat, the boat we've just seen, it's called the Quantum Blue and it's owned by a Russian billionaire called Sergei Galitsky. Uh, he's a billionaire and this cost him 250 million. How do you find that information? It's just out there, isn't it? Oh, 250 million. Google, everything's on Google, isn't it? Okay. 2 250 million on Save a boat. Sergey's doing well. Sergey's definitely. It might be the mayor cat. Sergey's <laughs> not scratching around for ten quid, is he? he he's not. No. He's not. He's not just translated the parking price. No, he's not. He's not just translated the parking at Monaco just to make sure it's not going to cost him a hundred euros. Yeah. Not like anybody I'd know. Yeah. Down here. Yeah. Round there like that. You're round here. Down there. Round there, and we go round that bit, and we go through that tunnel we've just been under. Oh, really? Yeah, so I'll show you that tunnel again. Yeah. So we just sat down for a little drink and um, a beer and water for the kids and give them a bit of a rest. And as we walked around Casino Square, I didn't realise that we were still on part of the racetrack. I didn't realise it went up the left hand, uh, left hand side or right hand side as you're looking at the Casino Square. I sat down and looking at there, I can see the, uh, the checkerboards. But it's the top of the climb up the hill towards Casino Square as it goes round and back down to Fairmont Thing. That's the way up there. And this is the climb up the top. Let's see the checker marks there. Look. All the way up there. And then round past yes. there, Monte Carlo Casino. Yes. This is the first corner. Right down there, the start has a friend. We go all the way into here and try and cram it into this. Where did it start? Where that bus is. Oh yeah, yeah. The buses, they all start there and go all the way down that way. Amazing. Wow, so if you didn't get a good place, you'd struggle to get past anyone there, wouldn't you? That's pretty much why it's uh, like Monaco, because they really do struggle to get past anyone. Oh, I see. Uh, do people then who normally start in the lead win at Monaco? Yeah, so, generally, so what they'll do is they'll come... Through here, down the street, down there, yeah. down that bit there, oh. and comes round again in the loop. Okay. So that's the swimming pool. Known as the ah. swimming pool. Ah. So oh, I expected it to be oh, looking yeah. a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I thought the swimming pool would be a bit flashier than that, really. Impressive building. Yeah. 
It's you. Well, that was unexpected. We've just gone to go into the museum and all children, five and under, uh, five and above, need to wear masks. So thankfully they do sell them at the ticket office. So we've just managed to get a couple. One euro 90 for the two, so that's not too bad. Um, and at least now we can get in. So we're at the top of the Aquarium. museum. No, it's a museum de oceanographic. Yes. Phoebe's just tried climbing on the wall to get over to the top. We're three stories up, but yep. what a place. What an amazing place. It's been brilliant. And this is pretty much the end of our day at Monaco. Yeah. We're going to get in the car. We've done so much thing. We've walked the whole walked. track nearly. Yeah, yeah. And walked half have. of Monaco. Yeah. We have. We've, we've literally had... had how many miles do you reckon we've walked today? Well, I don't know, I'll have a look on the thing, but it must be five or six. Easily maybe ten. But yeah, we are there. Look at that. The cloud's setting though, as we was going around Monaco, around the museum. The cloud is setting. But she's pretty decent view though, look. Yeah. What yeah. a fantastic view, but brilliant. So, what, a yeah. day, what a day in Monaco. What a cracking day. So we've Hi. Hi, so today we're in Cannes. Just come out the car park and we are straight onto the port. This is nice, isn't it? It's not your average Friday morning view, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Millie's favourite things at ports? No fences. I think the, uh... So over there, over there is the, the big yachts are, we'll show you them. And this is probably what we can afford is one of these. I was going to say, right now, I think these could be the cheap seats. No, no, that's, what, that's, what, that's about our level. The cheap seats. That's us, we're in. Cheap seats. I'm having one of them. Yeah. And then I'm going to work my way up to one of these big yachts over here. Yes. 
I'll have that bad boy then, in there. Oh, no, I know what I'll have. I'll have that one from uh, Saint-Tropez with yeah. the helicopter on. That's what I'm having next. I'm having that as my weekend one. Yeah, definitely. definitely. single store that you go past um, insists that you try some of their produce. Henry just went and bought some uh, fresh strawberries and the lady actually gave him a bag full of um, apples and peaches to go along with his strawberries all for free. Um, it's been a really great French experience this one. There you go. Lobster roll. A fresh mini lobster roll. Let's say again. is Henry and I think I've never tried one of these before but I think I'm going to try bubble tea so I've heard people um, talk about them before and I've seen people pi uh, post pictures on um, social media but I've never actually tried one so I'm just figuring out what flavor I might go for I think I might I might go for an exotic bubble tea see what that's like. what do you think you can so far then okay yeah. It's a bit more laid back, which is a bit more our style, I think. Yeah, it's a lot more laid back than Saint Tropez, isn't it? Saint Tropez was a bit too glitzy, glamour, very busy, very hustle bustle. So imagine what it's like in the height of the season when it's yeah. And I didn't like it. 
Yeah, we'll get your There's water. Much. I didn't like, I, didn't, I liked it. Oh, I like, I love the beaches. You couldn't it, fault the beaches. Like, How no, busy it was. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get the same thing that I got from when we came in. Yeah, Cairns is special, isn't it? It really is. First ever strawberry tea, and it's delicious. Really strawberry delicious. bubble yeah. tea, sounds. Do you suck the bubbles up through it? Yeah, and they just pop in your mouth and it's like strawberry. Can I try? Strawberry. Can I try? My try. I mean, <laughs> this is the problems we have on our relationship, you're alright. Can I try? Yeah, you can try. Ready? Oh wow, yeah. It's good, isn't it? I didn't expect to get the bubbles, but... Yeah, nice. I know, I didn't really know what to expect, but it is really good. Get you got to suck a bubble up, Pen. Come on, keep going, you get a bubble. Not all the bubbles, just a bubble. <laughs> did you get one? No. Hang on. You got one then, I see you did. What do you think? Bubbles are Weird out there. Try it in a minute. Got to suck a bubble up, Mills. Me, bree, bree, bree. I just bit your bubble. Yeah. I bit the bubble. Go on then, Mills. Got to suck a bubble up. Keep going. You get the bubbles. There you go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I come in there, try one. Can you get me my own? No. Bubble tea. No. Horrible. It's just strawberries. Uh, Ray, you're sucking all the bubbles off. <laughs> That's it all. What do you think? Glasses of wine in, so a bit squiffy. Soon to be, soon to be four. Yeah. So, not a bad view, look. Oh, that was unreal. Nice, right. <laughs> what do you have? So, an English beef stew with ganache. It was never English, not in a month for Sundays. It was gorgeous. It was thick red wine, delicious. Amazing, really nice. And a way to finish France. Yeah. Look at the view. Guys, Mills, what did you have? I had chicken. <laughs> Were they good? Yes, they were. <laughs> what a compliment to the chef. Pen, what do you have for me? So, man who works and cooks his food, who wears a mask and has a mask and 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 an olive. Fucking <laughs> 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 back in the day. Classy chick. Classy chick. <laughs> Alright, babe. <laughs> I don't think olives are for breed, do you? So this is our last night in France, guys. How do you feel about it? Hey, thanks, Dad. 
darling. Very sad about it. Yeah. Last sad. night, last night in France, but also excited that we're going yeah. somewhere else. Really excited. Definitely. It's been really good. How long have we been here? We've been here, what day is today? 27. So we're going to spend 29 days in France. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. You say it like that. And it's gone We've so We've got so quick. used to it. I know. We have We've got, got so, so used, used to, to it. it. Your guy. Your guy me. is your guy. So but 29 days has gone by like that. Yeah. And well, then, that's the thing about world adventure. If you stayed in every single place that you fell in love with, you'd you never go, go anywhere. You'd go on an adventure, you'd just go to a place. Yeah. We were talking about it earlier, weren't we? We yeah. was like, this is our new favourite place. But we've had a lot of favourite places so yeah. far. This is just the latest. And don't get us... Yeah. And don't get us wrong, we know and we're full, fully aware of it that the last three places we've been are places we could never afford to live. Never. Never. Never, never say never. Never say never. Never Don't say never. There Anything might... is possible. We've proved that. You never know. You never know. We might be rich beyond our wildest dreams. But when you're looking at... Oh, we already are. We looked at um, estate agents, didn't we? Yeah. And it was 7.6 million in Nice. And also it was one price on request. So it was going to be 20 million plus. Oh, easy. Definitely. Yeah. We've enjoyed yeah. it so much. We are. Sad to see it go. But happy to go in somewhere happy else. Happy to have had the opportunity that we've had to experience it out oh, now feel very lucky so yeah. where are we going next you'll have to wait and see if you follow us on instagram and facebook you probably already know <laughs> but still if, if you, you don't, don't then you should then you should see you soon